yeah, here you could clearly see what I'm talking about. I mean, I already took this out, but it's kind of like a beveled edge, right? 45 or something. I mean, somebody hacked this together, but that's what you're going to find in an older home or old windows. Um, it might have just been carved, uh, cut off with a with a knife. It doesn't look like it was cleanly cut with a saw, but uh, it was put together uh, on some sort of an angle, um, beveled or whatever. So this is actually holding in the two sides. Um, this this is why we try and do it in this order, and it just comes out. We got all the stops out. And now this sash you can see is loose it could easily come out but we don't want to take it out yet uh, I found the best way to do this is actually lift this sash uh, all the way up as far as you can because you got to get a pry bar right in there you're gonna get a pry bar in here and release this screw or nail whatever they have in it you're gonna pry in this crease and release this from the window frame and it's under tension so this here is inside is like a, a spring um, it helps with the weight of the window when it lifts um, that thing will snap out at you and and catch in the eye so definitely want to follow this procedure I, I believe uh, it's something I came up with on my own makes it a lot easier but be aware that the window is free right now uh, there's not, I mean, there's an old alarm wire holding it in right now, but uh, there's nothing really holding it in. Maybe uh, a couple of nails from the stops that we're going to have to take out. But you want to keep a hand on the window and put a pry bar in each side. Little by little, you pry, it, pry this out, this here, and then we'll be able to remove the sash. So now's the time to put on your safety glasses if you haven't already, and your gloves. You want to have some sort of work glove on for this too I, you know i've had them snap and hit my hand uh definitely recommended that you you have some sort of safety protection on i've got my gloves on i got my pry bar i just want to show you this is the spot you want to be i'm going to not going to attempt this with one hand that's where you want to pry it out from i'm going to lift the window now probably up until it's about this point so that these springs don't fly out at me. Alright, you can see now I got one side released and this window is ready to drop. It's a lot lighter. That's basically holding the window from falling. Uh, so I'm going to do the other side and remove this sash. Um, and we'll take it from there. If you don't remove these nails ahead of time, they're going to keep the sash from coming out. You basically want to take it out to the inside of the home and then uh, put it on an angle and put it outside. I got a drop cloth outside waiting. Uh, that's where all the debris is going to go. So we have a nice uh, clean cleanup afterwards. So I'm going to remove all these nails. Uh, I should have done it before. I'm going to do it now so I can remove the sash. I forgot to mention we're going to need uh, channel locks or uh, even just the pliers, uh, but not a needle nose. You need something with some grip uh, and some leverage, like longer handle. I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, again, we'll have all our debris go out there. And these are the center stops in the middle of the frame, center window stop. That's separating the top sash from the bottom sash. It goes around. We're going to remove that with the channel locks. We don't need that for the replacement windows. And we're going to basically just grip it right around here and wiggle back and forth and pull. Um, again, we're not going to need it for the replacement windows. So what I found is they usually come off fairly easy uh, without a lot of effort. If you kind of wiggle and pull and work your way up a little, and uh, <clears throat> you're going to basically do that and remove all the center stops. There we go. And if you work it up little by little, you can get it off uh, basically in one piece. Now, you are going to have to contend with the top sash that's still in the window. So uh, 
you're gonna wiggle around that and you know it'll it'll work it'll come out but it is a pain uh, I need two hands to do this you remove the center uh, I got a little piece stuck in there but that'll come out with the next section you basically can just crack it off that center uh, the center stop once you remove it up to where the top sash is you can pull down on the top sash and uh, and wiggle it out from the bottom. She's also going to have the counterbalance or the springs. Um, again, you will probably want to have the top sash close to the top, uh, maybe about in this area here, uh, before trying to pry those off. But uh, I wanted to pull it all the way down so you got a good view. We're going to do the same thing as we did in the, for the for the uh, bottom sash. Uh, we're going to pry this out. Continue with the center stop. We're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna continue on the side. Then we'll do the top. And we just pry that out. All the stops are pulled out. We want to clean up the frame a little bit. Pull out. This is a remnant uh, from those springs on the side of the window. We're gonna take that off and just clean up if there's any wood left, uh, any fragments uh, from from removal of the stop. Item. Uh, not exactly sure the purpose. In the corner but this winds up being the back stop of our window um, and we need that so you definitely don't want to do anything to damage this this is where our window is going to butt against um, so that's going to stay um, but we're going to remove the frame uh, of the aluminum the old aluminum uh, storm windows so this is on both corners of my windows uh, yours might be the same um, we're going to pry that out carefully removed and uh we're going to clean up this frame at some point a little bit just scrape away any excess paint that's just kind of like sitting there uh flaking away this again this stop stays we're going to try and pry in here or bang out this aluminum here uh the old all the old aluminum um storm frame uh all along the bottom and all on the other side again this is the part that's coming out here up to here this has got to stay so you want to score in here with a knife if you have to if it's covered with paint or something um, you want to try and pry and loosen it uh, I found that if you bang it uh, it does come out um, you know, especially with the scoring we did but you do want to remove any glass first so this one does have glass um, still on it I'm gonna pull the glass down and then pull it in towards me and, and try to angle it uh, in the in the existing opening to put it outside the aluminum the frame removed that's the old storm window frame you're gonna look it's gonna look like a mess uh, it pretty much is but uh, we're gonna clean this up a bit I mean we're gonna definitely clean it up a lot uh, we want a nice clean sill uh, I'm going to brush all of this debris into the top and uh, check all the window frame edges, make sure that's all clean. I already cut uh, the old alarm wires and removed any nails that were in the frame. And uh, we're going to have a nice clean uh, working area to install a new window. Once this is all cleaned up, uh, we're going to start, well actually we're going to put the window in first and get a rough uh, measurement on it uh, we're gonna want to clear away clean up any of this old caulking that's been on there also and I'll do that now dust it away brushed away most of the big debris I'm gonna use a scraper now and just clean up any old uh, peeling paint it's probably not even necessary but I think it is uh, you want to do the job right uh, I'm also gonna score this better um, this is all old molding, but I don't want to I don't want this to peel all the way down. I don't want to just rip it off uh, This is all painted already on the outside. We just want it to look clean as possible So I'm gonna cut that old old uh, caulking off make it look uh, nice and clean Also along this edge This edge here, too. I'm gonna put a knife in there and clean it up. I have the whole sill cleaned up uh, We're ready to put the replacement window in the rough opening uh, again it's going to go against this stop 
and if we measured properly which I showed you how and ordered properly the window should drop right in here I got to remove one more nail up here looks like that's going to give us a, could give us a problem putting the window in uh, we're going to check it for, for rough opening just going to sit it we're going to put the bottom in first and we're going to put the bottom in and have it butting against the inside uh, window sill and we're, we're going to just tilt the top in to the opening it shouldn't fall through because we have these stops in place and we're going to check that we ordered the right window uh you know i mean really at this point you have an opening in your house uh you have you have the old window all, already out so you want to be pretty sure and take the time uh measure several times and be absolutely sure that you have the right window um before starting the demolition <clears throat> got the window in the in the opening and this is a rough check on everything um i got i just wedged this in here for now so the window doesn't fall back on me what they say to do is measure from this corner to this corner check the measurement and then measure from this top right left so check that measurement you want the window to be square before you install it it's got to be square in, in the frame um, before you permanently install it um, so that you have smooth operation of the sashes uh, otherwise the, the sash would be out of whack uh, and you'll end up with a window that's tough to open um, I guess you could even potentially have drafts and, and uh, void the warranty even so I like to use both the measurement and the level um, to check that everything is straight before it's installed. And what you want to do is if your measurement is off from, let's say, the lower right corner and the left corner, let's say in this case that measurement is shorter than the measurement from this top right corner. If this, the top left to the bottom right, is shorter than the top right to the bottom left that means the window isn't square it's a little bit cocked in some direction uh, so either the top has to go to the right or the top has to go to the left and that's where the shims come in you basically want to stick shims somewhere towards a couple inches down i think they say in the instructions it tells you exactly what to do um, from the top or from the bottom wherever you're going to shim and it's either got to move out this way or this way but you want to put shims in so that the window is uh, perfectly level perfectly plumb uh, it's hitting the back stops so as far as the window being seated uh, towards the back it's a little bit tight on the stops it's going to be uh, it should be level, but you're trusting the other contractor or whoever put those stops in. So you definitely want to do the measurement and then do the shims along the sides here so that everything is even and the window is perfectly square before you finally install it. But again, I'll show you that in a minute. This is the rough and it's fitting in perfectly. Uh, the measurements were great. We got some space along the top, and uh, now I'm going to prepare the, the frame uh, for the permanent installation of the window, and that's when we'll do some shim work maybe. This one seems to be a little tiny bit uh, out of square.